Kubernetes Security Learning Series Point of View 23rd Topic is Ensure Immutability of Container Set Runtime As usual, I am in a training.linuxfoundation.org and if you look at the monitoring, logging and runtime security right here Ensure Immutability of Container Set Runtime So here the point is Immutability of Containers So let's try to understand that So if you look at the uh, basically linux calls so if we have a kubernetes host or maybe any node right we have a os which is a kernel space and there is a user space right and we have a pod will be running under the user space it will be making a pod will be making a system calls but pod how it's making with the help of a security context means if this pod will have a elevated privileges then it will be able to make a various kinds of a syscalls so here the most important point is if pod has a security context level or container at security context level is the key so we need to restrict the privileges at security context level so that we can secure the our kubernetes environment overall goal is security so yes so in order to avoid the elevated privileges as per the best practices right we have a pod and we have a container and first technique is security context privilege equal to false always means if you take true then it will take a privileges second is a run as a user which is nothing but run as a root user which is not recommended this is a one of the major loophole if you for the compromising of your system and other one is allow privilege escalation let's say this container has some admin rights and by using this particular flag it can utilize other privileges so that's what the it mean and fourth one is a read only root file system so as the name suggests read only yes read only root file system so if you make it false then this container will be use as a purely read only file system so basically these are the four possibilities are basically mutes the system but our goal is to immute so this one should be false run as a zizer should not be used zero allow privilege should be always false and root file system should be always true right and pod level never set it as a run as a user zero so that it will inherit all the containers so that's also not only that there are many other host ipc host namespace there are many other linux capabilities those are also security best practices but the most important are the, these four now first is a pod level so pod level this is a pod definition file as a regular right if you look at here privilege is true run as a user is zero allow privilege escalation equal to true read only root file system is false means all the four properties are dangerous properties which may compromise the system which may do anything it can do install or anything in my container and hack the system so uh, these are the four points which i showed one privilege mode allow privilege escalation run as a user and read only file system these four should be taken care at the pod level in order to achieve a immutability and also there is a second way in the kubernetes is by using a pod security policy what exactly pod security policy i have made a one detailed video on psp pod security policy is a one of the admission controller and where it will basically if you define a some set of policies it will basically enforce it will throw error if it is somebody not follow these rules so here basically in the pod security policy you can set these rules then whenever somebody go and create then with the privilege equal to true it will give the error and the same four points so means you use a pod definition file or pod security anything you must take care of these four points so let's see the demo I am in a two node Kubernetes cluster, one master and one worker node. kubectl get pod. So none of the pods are running. So I have a pod definition which is security context demo.yaml. And I so this is a just a simple security context demo. I downloaded from official documentation, which is a busy box pod. Simply it's just creating a file echo.txt into the data.demo directory. 
which is sleeping for two hours and if you look at this is container level security context privileged equal to true that means this pod has a full privileged access can do anything and run as a user which is running as a root user other one is allow privilege escalation equal to true this is also one of the uh, so that they can escalate this particular privileges they can do anything and read only root file system equal to false means root file system is not read only it means it's a writable so all these four properties are very dangerous uh, basically all the uh, whatever we should avoid it's there so it's demo purpose so right and now kubectl apply iphone f and i applied which is a pod number one so now what i will do kubectl get pod it's this pod is running already what i will do is i will i will open this particular file right now uh, i will make this file as a file name is number two and what i will do first of all privileged right if i go to the new tab and kubectl explain pod dot spec dot here right i am looking for the pod spec containers dot security context privileged what is a by default value of the privileged is by default is a false but we have made it to true so this is a mutable thingy so i don't want i want to make this as a immutable so now i will make it as a false this is the one now run as a user zero means root user i don't want to run as a zero if i remove this it will assign automatically right but i don't want to run as a user i wanted to just run as a thousand user it's okay any number now allow privilege escalation this default value is also false uh, right here if you go here kubectl explain and then allow privilege escalation this is the value and this is a description about that what exactly right and here i will make it as a allow privilege escalation is a false right so these three values i set it as a immutable these three guys can't do anything now read only root file system which is false means currently is writing so i wanted to make it true so that now my this particular pod is fully secured and fully immutable right now i saved this file right now just wanted to double check what i did just right so it's perfect sec privilege false run as a user equal to thousand and allow privilege escalation equal to false run as a reader perfect this is good and pod number two so what i will do kubectl apply iphone f and then it's create a pod number two so now kubectl get pod pod one and pod two and just wait for a few seconds it it's created now what i will do first i will go to the first go inside the first pod first pod is a demo one and i will open a shell right as per the pod definition what it is doing is it is cat data demo directory there is a hello file so right it's created since pod number one has a privileged escalation and privileged rights so i can go to the uh, mkdir at c under that gvr i can create right under the test hack any kind of folder sorry mkdir hyphen p sorry hyphen p i can create that particular folder in the particular container and also i can navigate to etsy directory and and ls there is a host file i can modify the host file as well right so you can do anything right here something that something just for an example i am showing something dot something dot something dot something say hack dot com something any anything anything you can do in this particular host file level so here just to, to show the demonstration i have uh, modified the host file so in this way i can do i can go back to the root directory right this is another property is a read only root file system what is a root if i go to the root right sorry cd root now i am in a root directory and touch test dot config yes i can create ls there is a touch so i can do anything i can go to the bin directory and i can delete anything because since it has all the privilege rights right now what i will do is i will get out of this pod right and i'll go inside the second pod which is fully secured and which is immutable right now kubectl execute in interactive way and i'll go inside the second pod and hyphen hyphen shell now if you look at particular this particular pod it is first cd 
so if you look at the uh, next go to next window cat bat uh, security context right here only this directory only is a writable so data dot demo i'll go to the cd data dot demo ls there is a hello dot txt here you can make touch test dot txt yes you can create but when i go to the root directory right cd root directory now i am in a root directory if i try to create echo or i just to see the touch test dot txt see read only root file system i'll try to create a one directory mkdir say gvr cannot create a directory because read only root file system because if you look at the pod definition yaml file all the security immutability things i have enabled and only the directory i can have a read write is this guy only right and also in the volume mount level also you can make it as a read only so here just go there and make it as a read only equal to true in that way also you can but overall the point is in order to achieve immutability these are the four properties are the the most important so that you can make it as a immutable means nobody can modify right that's what the its whole uh, session where we are talking about the security which is ensure immutability of the containers at runtime so this is the way you can make it immutable i hope this particular session is helpful and do the security practices thank you uh, I hope this session is helpful and let me know your feedback in the comments. Thank you.